she's better known for playing feisty Michelle Connor in Coronation Street, but she's about to take to the stage playing 60s siren and icon Elsie Tanner. Before we chat to actress Kim Marsh, let's take a look at the late Pat Phoenix in action. I don't shut want up to... you, and I'm warning you. If you don't learn to keep that flaming lion gob of yours shut, you're for the eye jump. Come in, it's circus. Oh, look, you'll make one move and I'll crown you. Very impressed, if you must know. You know what I look like when I get done up? Like a clapped out old tart. If ever again you put your sticky fingers on any fella that belongs to me, I'll knock that stupid peroxide head right off your silly shoulder. Yeah, I was in the army. We used to take our showers 40 at a time. Oh, well, put on. You cheap foul mouth. Lady Madonna, I just want to say that... Get out! I'll never forget... No! You've got to spend your stomach over this! Forget about the whole damn thing. She's on home territory. Well, they won't take great. <laughs> Wow, Kim, that is a pair of stilettos to step into, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just, yeah? I mean, we... I think she was probably the biggest um, female icon of Coronation Street, aside from maybe Beth Lynch and... You know, well, she walked. Uh, she walked down a street when I grew up in Newquay, in Cornwall, and uh, she walked down the street on her holidays, and uh, and she had to take refuge in a shop because there was a massive screaming horde of fans <laughs> behind her. Like you know, sort of in those days, she was One Direction. You know, wow. it was unbelievable yeah. the amount of people. A true icon. Have they yeah. spoken to you? The people who were around at that time, maybe uh, uh, up on the street, and said, "Oh, this is what she was like. This was, you know, she she did things this way." What have they told you about her? Well, um, not really. I mean, because let's not forget, this is a, a kind of a different um, way of portraying Elsie, because obviously this is in music form. Um, but obviously I want to try and get some of her characteristics into the performance, so no doubt I'll be going through that today. I'm going to start rehearsals later on today. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think, I think her whole mannerisms, I think just the way that she was, she was quite a feisty woman. Mm. Um, and, uh, and, and I love that about her I think and, and I think that's the essence of Coronation Street in a way it's really strong feisty women and kind of downtrodden men yeah in a way. Really yes. that way yeah. and actually I mean the show itself I mean if you're a Corrie fan then this is just a dream and this is Street of Dreams and it kicks off at the Manchester Arena on the 10th, 9th and 10th of May yeah and what is so beautiful about it is the set because this is a whole life-size street that they've got yeah it is it's the full length of the terraced houses from the Rovers right down to the shop so, um, and you'll visit various parts of the street, and the street, and that will kind of open up like a doll's house, wow. and you will enter inside different... Telling tales different of houses. different main sort of characters throughout yeah. the years. Yeah, and there's like some classic clips being shown from different classic scenes of Coronation Street throughout the, the kind of years. We've got here, this is what you look like as, uh, as our Elsie. There you go, that's... Uh, <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> hair is the hair, isn't it? It's it is. all in the hair. It is, yeah, it is. Oh, we I, just changed the shot. Then. I know. Let's have a look, at, have a look at that one again. Let's have a look at that one because that's another one. Look at that. That's a beauty. <laughs> I wasn't sure how I felt about that wig. Really? At first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> Thank you. And so the the song that you're singing, this was from the album, wasn't it? And the album was released for this was Rogues, Angels, Heroes, and Fools. Yes. Yes. And this was a song that you performed for, for that. Yes. I, I actually played Elsie on that album. Mm. Um, there was various other songs that I took part in as well, but the the song I know how it feels is kind of Elsie's big number tune, yeah. really so and yeah. how are you feeling about singing today i'm very nervous <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time i've really sang apart from pop star opera star but yeah when was time. the last time you sang on the telly then maybe 2003 2004 and so does it make you nervous yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I still get nervous. It doesn't matter how many people I'm singing to, I still get nervous. Well, well we heard us. you in rehearsals. It's only us. And you uh, yeah, the, the rehearsals do sound amazing. Yeah. We were saying earlier on about the, the Speakmans and the fact that you you'd had some work with them. What have they done for you? Yeah, I had a real phobia of driving. After I had my second child, after I had um, Emily, I suddenly developed this real phobia. I'd get real panic attacks and just freak out. And uh, I went to see them and they, and they completely cured me. <laughs> It's incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And so to this day, you've got drive, no problems. Yeah, so. yeah. In fact, I love my car now. So much so that I keep changing it for a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again, I'll change. I get bored of it. They've cost like, you a fortune. Yeah, they have. How dare they? <laughs> no, it was, it, it, they are absolutely brilliant. They're just, I don't it's know quite, how they do it. It's quite difficult to figure out how it's done yeah. as well. We um, can't let you go without talking about Michelle as well um, okay. and what's coming up for her. We hear there might be a new boy on the horizon. Um, well, there's talk of, of maybe, you know, there's lots of different things going on at the moment. Um, I don't quite know where it's heading, who she's going to end up with, but she's surely due another romance. I think yeah. so too. I mean, there has been rumours that you put in a request for a 
Harry Styles. <laughs> that was so funny. That was just someone going, what would you like to happen for Michelle? I went, oh, you know, maybe she would have a toy boy or something. Oh, who would it be? Harry Styles? <laughs> the first you name know that popped into my fact. head. It's just one of those things you say. <laughs> I, know. I know, I know. Well, there you go. Part and, of your uh, and and how, how about you? How Because uh, you, just, you just got back from Disneyland. When were you at Disneyland? Yeah, we went to Disney last week and took uh, Emily and Polly and Billy, Jamie's little boy Billy, there we yeah. are. Um, and it was brilliant. wasn't sure how Polly was going to be with the characters. I thought she might be a bit scared, but she was... Well, nice to get you all together because Jamie's been away, hasn't he? He, he was has, working yeah. in, uh, in, in the States. Yeah, so, he's been uh, away for like nearly three months, so it was nice. A nice little break for us all to get together yeah. and shut a few people up as well. <laughs> right. It. Yeah. And how, how old is Polly now? Uh, she's just turned one. Oh, she's just. Oh, that, okay. Oh, yeah, just. that's right. Because Belle's turned one at the weekend. So yeah. They're similar, just. Similar. Age. She's doing that thing where she keeps daring herself to let go of the couch. Yeah, oh, kind of bless her. Wobble in. <laughs> Can I do it? Can get I do the Speakmans it? in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll, uh, we'll let you get Thank over you. onto the other side of the studio. It Thank is uh, Street of Dreams, the musical, world premiere at Manchester Arena on the 9th and 10th of May. While Kim gets ready to perform, here's a taste of what's on tomorrow's show. So, you okay? Feeling all right? I'm all right. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Now, performing I Know How It Feels from the Coronation Street musical Street of Dreams, it's Kim Marsh. Chin up, love, be brave now. Ed up, love, I'll show you how I've been there. I've seen where you're going. I know it back. Pushing. No one in the same direction Open and willing To skip another sad rejection I can hardly cry now I think I'd rather die now Again I know what it feels like To turn upon me